Hey, thanks for listening to the Amlin In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Amlin In The Mix YouTube channel today. Now, let's get into the podcast. I used to think of my life as a trap star. I used to think of my life as a trap star. I reckon on the beat. Hey, and welcome back to the Emlyn In The Mix podcast, season three, episode 48. As we head up to episode 50 here for the year, as we wrap up 2022, what is this podcast about? It is, of course, about music technology, software and hardware, all the latest and greatest in music gear. And we've got a great podcast for you today. It's actually a little bit different format. We usually go through what's happened in the last week, but we're just going to go straight to the feature. We've got two features for you. The next two podcasts are just straight into features. And then we've got a very special podcast, episode 50. So make sure you subscribe to this podcast if you're not already. And for those of you who are regular listeners, thank you so much for coming back time and time again. Now, for all of you who are watching right now, if you want to support this podcast, I'll have support links down below for some of the Cyber Season deals, which are still going right now, ongoing and some of the deals which are just going right through the festive period. If you want to show some love or support the channel, click one of those links down below, get yourself a deal on some awesome software. We've got Native Instruments, Isotope, Output, just to name a few great deals. Get yourself an awesome new plugin and support the channel at the same time. It's pretty good. Pretty good deal for yourself, guys. All right, but without further ado, let's just get stuck straight into today's feature. And this is a super fun plugin. It is called Pilot Plugins. It is by Mixed in Key, the same people who made Captain Plugins. I've done a couple of videos of Captain Plugins on the channel. So if you haven't checked those out already, definitely search for those, check them out. But this is sort of like, this is similar, but the what it is, for those of you who don't even know, it is an AI powered instrument. So more or less, Artificial intelligence giving you suggestions for melody lines, bass lines, chord lines, melodic lines, however you want to call it, and help you create a new piece of music. Now, some people argue that, you know, doing that is, is you're, you're not writing the music yourself, and I can totally understand that. But the cool thing about pilot plugins, and that's what we're going to look at today, is that there are infinite possibilities and infinite ways that you can customize the sound once you get like a melody that you love you can totally customize it a lot more than you could with captain plugins so i'm just on the website here from mixing key there's not a lot written up about it except for this video which we won't bother showing you here today because i'm actually just going to do a live demonstration here and we're going to make a track today or we're going to make a loop, I should say, and get an inspiration for some ideas. But it really is a lot of fun. So here we have introducing Pilot Plugins and basically an inspiration engine for music producers is what it's been touted here on Mixed in Key. They've just only released one volume pack, but they're going to release updated volume packs for this plugin as they become available. So the first one that's actually available is called Futurism Volume 1. And this is basically... A suite of styles, different players that you can use to create your melodies and bass lines and so forth. So, and arpeggiators. So, the first suite of styles available for pilot plugins is Futurism Volume 1. This suite of styles is perfect for genres like melodic techno, future rave, melodic house, and progressive house, but is flexible enough to be used on so much more. So, if you like those styles and genres, then you're definitely going to love this pack. But as it says, of course, you could probably make a pop track with this pack as well. So what is style? Style helps you generate MIDI for specific music genres. Each style can create countless variations of musical ideas. Custom knobs allow you to tailor them to your own liking. So once you select the style, which I'm gonna show you soon, you can then of course get in there and change the parameters of each individual style just to get it exactly to how you want. And then the style, packs are going to be sold separately when they become available but of course there's only one at the moment so futurism volume one contains over 20 styles across three plugins so you get pilot melody pilot bass and pilot arpeggio future style packs will feature other genres and contain additional plugins 
And here's some of the screenshots of the GUI itself. Now, when we jump over to the door, the GUIs are quite small. In fact, I'm going to just jump over. I don't know how to increase the size of them. Um, maybe you can, might be in the top right. But before we do start a track from fresh, I want to show you a little loop I've been working on. Just to give you an idea, this, and I've customized. So it's the artificial intelligence of this plugin, pilot plugins being that it's pilot, pilot plugins, has generated melodies and lines for me, but then I've totally customized them from where they originally were. So I just want to show you what I've come up with because it's a really nice little tune. Here we go. I'm going to play it back for you here. All right, cool. I got a little vocal here as well. got a vocal got a another melody lead here this could be an end we could take that chord out this could be an end part of the track got that break beaty vibe and then we got a different melody over here arpeggio that's arpeggio there Bring my vocal back, or is it? I think it's here. Super melodic. Anyway, you get the idea. I was messing with the bass actually before we started this uh, video here this morning, <laughs> podcast, podcast. Let's start from scratch though, and let's have a look at these actual plugins. So we're gonna do a new live set here. That's okay, we'll just hit save on that project. And it's gonna make sure my output is on the correct setting so that it actually plays through on the podcast. All right, great. So we've got Pilot Peggio, which you probably can't see on the screen there, Pilot Bass and Pilot Melody. I'm gonna kick off with Pilot Melody and you'll see in a sec, the GUIs are quite small. Now, when you open up Pilot Melody, it is going to ask me here, do you want to use the Captain Chords Epic or the Pilot Plugins? For the sake of this video, because we're looking at Pilot Plugins, we're going to use the Pilot Plugins version. Then it's going to open here. Let me see if you can make this GUI bigger. I don't think you can at the moment. That's okay. That's okay. It is a very small GUI, so I do apologize for that. Now, let's have a look here. So we want to start with our style. So if we click on the, the left button here, just move this over so you can see it. So here we've got seven styles that, to choose from. Now, also, probably what I would do is select what scale I want to write my track in. I think automatically it sets to A minor. So if you wanted to change that from the get-go, you could just do that here. Just click on A minor. You could choose what scale. We could just do C and we could just do, we can make it happy track. So we do C major. Okay, hopefully that's not too boring for you guys, but we can make it interesting. Let's try. Let's do a C major. All right, cool. Here's our C major. And it's already created a MIDI. Uh, artificial intelligence already with these settings has worked out a MIDI sort of melody here using the Loop Master. Let's listen to what it's created. I hope it's not too boring. We can, of course, edit the chords if it's a little bit boring. And I just got to make sure it's playing through for the podcast. So I'm just going to hit play here. Sounds good. Not bad. I might change this second bar. And then we'll change. See what else we can do. That sounds interesting. All right, we'll go with that. It is simple, but I'm happy with that chord progression for now. So now we can go through our players and I'll just show you the different players, how they sound. So this is Loop Master. Let's go to Stardust. Stardust. Oh, one thing I should just quickly mention is that each player has a sound that's recommended for their playing style. So you'll hear the sound, the preset sound will actually change. So you heard on Stardust, it was a different sounding synth. All right, let's keep going through. All right, we'll go to Pulsar. Ooh. 
Interesting. I really like that, actually. We might we might come back to Pulsar. Andromeda. More arpeggio style, but you're still getting the melody. Let's get a future bounce. Bit of offset there. That's cool. Uh, let's try seven Ibiza, 7 a.m. Interesting. All right, and then fly away. All right. I'm I'm loving Pulsar. I'm going back to the Pulsar. It's kind of euphoric. There's a lot going on. So now we could change the rhythm, voices, and octaves here. Just a little bit of uh, parameter play here. Let's just do some of that. Maybe less voices. Bit more octave. Put the voices back, actually. We'll find something. I actually don't mind that. I've shortened it a bit. Now, the cool thing is, so I've customized that the way it was played there. If you weren't happy with what you've ended up with, you can actually literally undo here. You've got this little arrow here, so you can go back to, it has your idea number, which is really hard to read in this GUI. It's so small, but uh, you can go back to the original, for example. So we'll go right back to, and it even, it's awesome. It just undo, does it. So we can go back to how it was. That's what we had. Anyway, I like what we ended up with, which was this. Okay, so once we've got something happy that we're, ha we're happy with, sorry, it is a happy major, C major here, we can now play with sounds. Now, the cool thing compared to this and I guess Captain Plugins Epic is that when you go to choose your presets, you go to your sounds, you can click on the synth here and you get a whole different uh, set of synths here, but you get pictures with the synths, which is kind of cool because you can kind of memorize the sound by looking at it, which is interesting. I've never had this experience before. I'm going to sneeze on the podcast, I think, in a second. No, it's gone. I don't know. It's coming, maybe. All right, we'll just, we will carry on. There may be a sneeze. Anyway, let's have a look here. So we can go through sounds now and you can edit the sounds depending on whether it's a sampled instrument. If it's a sampled instrument, there's not as much to play with parameter wise. But if it is uh, part of the phase plant, which is the instrument which is integrated inside Pilot plugins, which is much like the Captain plugins, then you'll have a lot more editing capabilities. But let's go through some of the sounds. We'll find a sound we like. Here we go. So this is additive chimes. So this is part of phase plant, so I could trigger it, uh, sorry, tweak it, but I don't really like this sound. Let's go through. That's a sample instrument. I'll just find something I like. Oh, what was that? I like this. Or maybe... Art me is kind of cool. What was that one? That's not bad either. I think I liked uh, this one, back to square one. All right, cool. So we can edit it now. Get it to how you want it to sound. Give it a bit of drive. You can put, got a filter here. Probably filter envelope it off a bit. All right, and now you have something. You're happy with it. Now we can play it directly out of Pilot Plugins or we can actually export the MIDI 
and then put it across to another VST plugin, or you can even just get render the audio and put it out. Like you just click on it and away you go. Oh, I didn't like that. That's fun on the podcast. Let's see if we can just get that back up. Okay, so I have to say though, the pilot plugins are, they're not beta, but they are fairly new. So there's probably a few little bugs I got to squish out there, which we just saw live on the podcast. We're not going to cut this out. We'll just keep going. Now, I'm wondering whether I can get my... Ah, no, that's not good, actually, for the podcast. So, it doesn't want to render audio. You can actually... Interesting. That's okay. Well, I'll get it back pretty quick. That's the good thing about this, is it's actually fairly easy to get what we need quite quickly. I just got to make sure I'm in our 19 train. Just make sure we got... So, we've got a brand new melody here. Let's try again, guys. Let's just really quickly go see. Look, it's relaxing. It's a podcast today. We're just chilling. I just can't remember what the... What did I have? I think I had three, four. It might be slightly different, guys. Maybe we'll get something better. I think it was this and then down. And then we chose Pulsar. It's going to be similar, and then I chose this sound, and I think I had... See how quickly I can get it back. I think I like this, the rhythm down a bit. And just shorten it a bit. Alright, anyway, we're not going to try and render audio because there's something buggy going on there. Anyway, cool, let's now jump over, let's get a bass. It's slightly different to what I had, unfortunately. We did crash there, and it didn't save. And we save this as we go and make sure is that playing back oh yeah playing back all right cool we'll see that wasn't too long the crash cycle that would have been uh awkward if it was really long here on the podcast hope this is an interesting podcast this is a lot different to how we normally do it I just want to keep it relaxing it's the end of the year uh, the next two podcasts are going to be like this so but definitely see that last podcast we're going to have a special podcast for you so just stick around for that all right, cool. So now we've got our pilot bass, which I've loaded in the adjacent track here. We're using Ableton Live today. If you're only listening to us, you're not watching us there on YouTube or Spotify. So now it's going to generate a bass line based on our pilot melody. So let's just have a listen to what it's done, and then we'll go through our play styles. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, so this is where the fun can be had. So did we save, I'm gonna save this just real quick because I, I don't need another crash. Uh, let's call it a uh, podcast track pilot. I don't know it's random, but that'll do. Boom. All right, let's go through play styles. All right, so we're currently on foundation. I love this dude, he looks so cool. I want to look like him when I'm his age, whatever age he is. I just kind of want to look like that now, like a big gray beard and cyber sunglasses and a helmet. I think these are AI images, maybe. This is my take on this, that maybe these are made by AI, just keeping everything AI. All right, let's go through. Foundation, happy with this. I actually really like this. Simple, but it works. All right, here's offbeat. Gives a different take. We'll go to disco bass. Ready? We'll go to clave. Might just turn it down a bit because we're going to distort a bit here. Not really, we go to shape of bass. Not bad. Bass harmony. Walking bass. Bit more going on here. That one's cool. Bit more complex, we go to gravity. Let's see what gravity's got. A 
bit slow. I think we'll just go foundation. It was simple. Our dude here. All right, so now we've found the baseline we like. I'm going to do some tweaking. Pull the density down and make it a bit more syncopated. Let's change the layout a bit. Spice it up a bit. Love a bit of spice. Maybe not too much spice. Don't need to be on the toilet, do we? Especially if we're in space. Listen to that. Okay, so I just added a tiny bit of spice. Hopefully you can hear it then on the podcast. A very simple bass line going. I might just turn our melody down just so you can hear the bass a bit more. All right, we'll go through our preset sounds now. I'm happy with this. 80s bass. Heaps of bass presets. Could have a glide like that, depending on what you want to make. Or you get trap bass, like real deep bass like that. I wonder how that sounds with the... Depends what kind of beat we're going to go. That's kind of cool. We'll see though. We'll go through a few more. That was cool. I like that. Got actual real basses here. Oh, this is hard. Bass is hard to choose from. I don't know. I might go actually go back to boom bass for now. I just like it hits hard. I will right, we'll keep that cool. Hopefully, I'm not boring you too much with that lead line. So let's add. And we're coming out the right channels here. Hopefully, it's recording on the podcast. Yes, it is. Let's add a pilot arpeggio here we go pilot arpeggio all right cool so this is essentially it's going to create an arpeggiated arpeggiated syncopated melody here which i feel like with our chord line we sort of already have an arpeggiated sound so i don't know how this will work but we'll do one anyway i just wanted to show you basically i wanted to show you the third and final pilot plugin here but i'll show you something really cool that you can do to sort of just add a bit of juice to this track, which we'll do in a sec, of course. And we'll add a drum track as well. I might just speed the track up a bit too. It's a little bit slow. All right, so when we pull up the pilot arpeggiator, we've got our different pilots here. We've got a few spacemen. I mean, they're all spacemen, really. Uh, let's listen to what they've created for us using our chord C major and that chord structure. So this is A1 up. I'll turn our main melody down. It's pretty sick. It's actually really musical. Like, this is the thing about Pilot Plugins. It's going to inspire you. This is the main thing. Don't take it as something as cheating. I mean, it is, it is helping, but you can make it so it's not cheating. You tweak it to make it your own, as you've seen on the podcast today. Let's go through, go to down. Pegation down. Not bad. We'll go to texture. Wow, really love that. It's like big. It's so big. And even, yeah, I'm going to probably go with that. We'll go through the other side, so random walk. That's not bad either. All right, kaleidoscope. Okay, it's giving us a... See, it gives you a different vibe. It's sitting on that note, but it actually gives you a different vibe. All right, staircase. I don't mind that either. I like a mole actually, but texture definitely. Cycles. That one's great too. They complement each other actually. It's interesting. We'll go back to texture. Here we go. It's not quite right though, actually. Put voicing up. Let's see if we can get it tweaked in a bit. 
That's it. Yes. Oh, maybe one more voice. I'm Nice. I wonder if I can tweak the sound. I can. Let's see what we can do to the sound. Wow. Nice. Wow. So you've seen what Pilot plugins can actually do. And then all you'd really want to do on top of this, and this is just really an idea starter. Like it's not really, you know, you're not, you're not going to have a full song just yet, but you've definitely got the ideas. You've definitely got the foundation. I would, I mean, I'm loving breakbeats at the moment. So I would just, even with this track, I'll put a breakbeat in. I think we've only got one breakbeat sample here at the moment, but it's such a good breakbeat sample and it'll work with this. You ready? Let's have a listen to it. Actually, together they sound good. It's kind of inspirational sounding, this track. All right, okay, cool. And then from here, you could just have fun, you know? Like, let's chuck on... I mean, this, this inspires you at this point here. You don't have to go pilot plugins anymore. Let's let's go to Cherry Audio and let's have a look at their brand new GX80, which is so much fun. I'm not a I'm not a great keyboarder, so apologies in advance, but let me just show you here. You could then you could muck around, okay? So you got oh my gosh, look at that. Nice massive GUI for you. That's that's what we need. Resizable GUIs. Please mix in key if you're watching this video. But you know, let's get it. Pitch bending. Oh, give us a different sound. Let's get a different preset. Hang on. Different preset. Let's go leads and try this one. Sorry, I got pitch bend on the... I'm using my um, MP controller, so it's pitch bending on the keys. so much fun if you haven't checked out the GX80 yet this is a phenomenal sounding synth All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. If if you've stayed this long with me on the podcast, thank you so much for sticking in there, just mucking around here. You got to hear the little bit of inspiration, the little bit of the Emlyn in the mix touch there. Look, I'm not a doctor mix. I'm not one of those keyboardists who are absolutely phenomenal at this. You know, they put their hands on the keyboard. Like, 
Ooh, they go all crazy. I can't do that, but I can get an idea and a feel for the track and definitely that brings inspiration. I get an idea for a new lead on top of this AI generated uh, melody that's been created here by Pilot, Pilot Plugins. What do I think of Pilot Plugins? I think it's freaking awesome. I think you should go and get it. It is sort of new and I feel like there's a few things they can fix like we saw there in real time just the rendering audio crashed Ableton Live. It might not happen in every door and it might not happen on every system but other than that like it seems to run now natively as an instrument okay not a problem and i was able to export midi the other day i'm a little bit scared to try it now uh because i want to save this track actually i really like it especially with the gx 80 lead line which i didn't record but i will record later because that sounds freaking cool over the top of it but what did you guys think you you like pilot plugins you want to get yourself some pilot plugins i'll have a link for it down below no affiliate link uh other than mixing key letting me check it out today which is really awesome so thank you so much and we'll be back next week with a special feature. It will be a pre-record next week. But don't forget the final podcast, episode 50 for 2022 in two weeks' time. Definitely stick around for that. And thanks so much for joining me week to week for those of you regular listeners. Really appreciate it. I hope today's podcast was awesome and you enjoyed it. Actually, just before we go, we did do a little poll on the YouTube channel. I wonder if I can bring it up here. Anyway, we did a... We did a poll on the YouTube channel and it looks like you guys prefer, you can vote on it now if you want, I've still got the poll going, just in regards to how you want me to deliver my music technology news and it looks like you guys want the music nerd stuff. Was I music nerdy enough for you guys today? I hope so. And with all of that said and done, thank you so much guys for joining me and peace out. We'll see you next week. Be you. Hey, thanks for listening to the Amlin In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Amlin In The Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.